Hey there, I am in the land of bourbon, KFC, Lincoln, and horses. And I am in Lexington, Kentucky. This is the second largest city in the state. Um, I have never been to this city, so um, in this video I thought I'd go see a few little things around town. I'm going to have other videos on more major attractions that I went to. And on the back of the historic Kentucky Theater is this amazing mural of seated Abraham Lincoln, a native Kentuckian. That is one of the coolest murals I've ever seen. This is the historic Fayette County Courthouse built in the Richardsonian style. There's the courthouse and the tallest building in Lexington. Yeah, one in four residents were slaves. That's that's bad. There's a window cleaner up there. Can I have a bite to eat at this Lexington diner. Being a total politics nerd, eventually I realized in here that I recognize this place, and that is because it was the site of the 2017 Democratic response to President Donald Trump's first joint address to Congress in 2017 by former Kentucky Governor Steve Bashir. Henry Clay is public house. He was quite a drinker himself. Actually, Henry Clay had this building commissioned in 1805 and owned it for a few years. This building right here is a 21C hotel. I say it's the one in Cincinnati. They combine a hotel with uh, contemporary art. It's really cool. These are the kissing street lamps. This is the Lexington Public Library. There were uh, civil rights students and protests in this area. Now this is an interesting monument. It is a Bedouin man on a camel on a street corner. This camel is actually the zero milestone of Lexington. So from this very point right here at, with the camel, uh, this is where all distances in Lexington are measured from. Not a horse, but a camel. We are in Kentucky. So I guess a stream flows under the road here. This marker is on Lexington, the race horse, whose skeleton I saw at the horse park. One thing I've noticed, they have a lot of fountains here in Lexington. Shakespearean Company. There, I guess, was the old Lexington Opera House. Here, I look at this old church. Heritage Antique. Got a statue of a girl riding a horse. And I think they're open. Look at them. Organs are still there. Look at this old hand painted carousel horse. Wow. This is a great antique store. There's an old spinning wheel. Settee. They've got a lot of good furniture in here. This is interesting. This is a book about the Soviet threat written in 1971. That'd be interesting to read.
this like an end case? I want those. I'm up on this elevated platform. I don't know if the choir or something would have been here. And look over the whole store. Look at all that junk. It's amazing. That right there was Henry Clay's law office. They built in 1803. This is the only office building standing that was used by Henry Clay. Apparently Henry Clay interviewed Aaron Burr in this very office after he dueled and killed Alexander Hamilton and uh, ran west. This is on um, one of his slaves, Charlotte Depoy, who sued Henry Clay for freedom. And right next to where he practiced law is where he went to church, the first Presbyterian church right here. The congregation was founded in 1784 and it's the oldest congregation in the city. Apparently Abraham Lincoln also went to services here a few times. And this is not the building that uh, Henry Clay and Abraham Lincoln went to. This is built in 1872. It is on the National Register. Um, they do have Henry Clay's pew in there. Um, unfortunately, the door is locked. I believe this was the home of Thomas Hunt Morgan, who won the 1933 Nobel Prize for uh, his research in genetics. This is the site of the Transylvania University Medical Hall. This is the home that traitorous Vice President John C. Breckinridge died in. He was exiled after uh, the end of the Civil War and he returned here in 1869 and died here in 1875. So I believe I found the greatest restaurant here in Lexington. This is the Parkette Drive-In. This is a legit 1950s drive-in restaurant. Love these places. These are my favorite. Look at that classic neon sign from the 50s. Look at that. That is beautiful. That's a great sign. Not in the best condition, but at least most of it still lights up. You can see they have a lot of slots. Good old drive-in. Um, pretty old school system. This place opened in 1951. Guy Fieri was here. Oh, this is an old Wurlitzer juice box. I invited you into my finance plate creation. No, no, no. You better instead of chocolate syrup or chocolate ice cream. This is a diner themed pinball machine. That's really cool. Yeah, they have a big boy. Never seen this version of Gunsmoke. Burger Time. Interesting. They also have a garage. Got like the license plates and all sorts of memorabilia. There's an old Sinclair gas pump. I think this is all trash from opening day, but they say it.
This is a poor boy, the burger they're known for. Alright, this is uh, Billy Jean at the Park Edge Drive-In. Um, would you like to uh, plug the drive-in or anything? Yeah, come eat. Come check us out if you've never been here before. We're famous for our parquet, our fried chicken, and our chili dogs. I have to say it is really good. Definitely recommend it. Best restaurant in Lexington, sorry. <laughs> Hey, that is a good one, yeah. but don't go to Louisville. All right, gotta give a big thumbs up to the park at Drive-In. Um, it's really cool, and um, the people here are very nice. Hi, Billie Jean and her dad. Hope you're seeing this. Um, but I cannot recommend this place enough. Seriously, if you're in Lexington, you have to stop and eat here. Um, if I ever come back to Lexington, I will certainly be stopping to eat here again. See the light gleaming off the Fifth Third Bank Tower, the tallest in Lexington. It is 410 feet tall. The village idiot. There's a mural on the parking garage over there. This was a silversmith shop here. So a lot of visitors to Lexington come here for the horses, specifically the Kentucky Horse Park, and they have the graves of Man o' War and other horses. But in the suburbs of Lexington, there is a second little horse cemetery hidden back here. Took a while to find it. Yeah, look at that. That's a little fancy horse cemetery. They have a bust of John E. Madden, the Wizard of the Turf. So, here are the graves of horses. Very interesting. In the center is the grave of Nancy Hanks, probably named after Abraham Lincoln's mother. Record setter, lived from 1886 to 1915. A lot of these horses are almost 100 years old. They were moved because a Walmart was gonna be built on top of their graves. I don't know if they're all in caskets like Man of War or not. Wow, Pilata here won the Kentucky Derby in 1898. Poor Major Delmar. Missed the world record by one fourth of a fraction. A lot of these horses are winners of the Kentucky Derby or are Triple Crown winners. Here are some more recent horses, TV. Lark, Belsheba, and Pink Pigeon, who held world records. All alone is springtime on the polo field. Is that like when springtime died on the polo field on that day? I don't know. All right, so Lexington is a very cool city. Um, I have a lot of other videos on individual uh, museums and attractions that I went to here in Lexington, so make sure to go check those out. And uh, if you like stuff like this, random hidden horse cemeteries, then you should go check out all my other videos. I love exploring roadside attractions and museums and just weird things. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching.